Hello Taurus, Elsie here with a quick bonus read here, my friends. I hope you're well. Thank you so much for clicking here, Bull Gang. Um, I do come back here and do these a few times a week for you because you eat up my readings so very quickly. I do appreciate you, Taurus. So whether you are uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, uh, Taurus, this may resonate for you. Please keep in mind that it is a general reading and it will not resonate for all of you. All right. And if it doesn't, don't really have to report it in the comments. It's okay. It's all right. Just click on the X and find another. Here we go. Tell me about Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Taurus. What do we need to know about Taurus, please? We've got the Two of Pentacles. We've got the Page of Swords. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm, so something's been moving really slow, Taurus. It feels like somebody is uh, watching you, I want to say. Uh, Taurus, if we're talking about a person, it does feel like somebody has been watching you and is is um, wondering what to do next. It feels like something is taking a really long time. It feels like somebody here is curious about what's going on in your life. They want to know what you're doing, how you're doing it. This person is observing you from a distance, I feel. And it feels like um, they've been doing it for a while. You might that you might know that through whoever's you know the other is that's watching your story, or maybe you don't know at all. Maybe you suspect something, but it feels like the reason that they're watching is because they're wanting to make some sort of a decision here. Tell me more. I feel like their life is really busy, Taurus. Somebody here, their life is really busy um, and they're just doing their best to keep everything in balance right now. And that's what's taking them so long, I feel, to uh, come around or to communicate with you or to say something. Because I feel like right now they're not really sure where you fit in. Can I fit another person into my life? Like it feels like somebody here is moving really slowly and going over details. Somebody who is being very patient and practical. It's like there's no point in me reaching out to Taurus if um, if I can't fulfill some sort of a friendship, if I can't fulfill some sort of a, a relationship, right? This could be, I mean, take it as it resonates. It could be friends, it could be lovers, whatever it is for you. But it feels like we are dealing in slow moving energy with somebody who I feel is learning about you, watching you from a distance. And I think it's because they don't, they don't really have a whole lot of time to put in right now into um, a friendship, into a relationship. Could be a member of the family as well. Uh, I was just looking two and one is three and then the three of pentacles popped out, right? So it does feel like this person is working a lot. We've got six pentacles here. They do want to give you reciprocal energy. Um, the three of pentacles tells me that whatever you do for work could be on display. That could be uh, why they're watching you. And uh, so whether you are an artist and they can walk in and buy your art or you are somebody who's on on um, a platform somewhere and they can just watch you, uh, it feels like it feels like this you and this person um, have been maybe disconnected or in lack. We do have five pentacles here. Um, yeah, it feels like for some of you, this is a friendship that I'm talking about. It's like a, a friend that you have not seen in forever. Um, I mean, take it as it resonates. Please use your own intuition. But the Three of Pentacles to me is always friendship, community, somebody who's on your side. Like, I feel like you know this person, um, but I feel like they are somebody who who you haven't had anything to do with in a very long time. And it doesn't have to be in love. This could be friendship as well, that we just, you know, our lives ended up going different ways and we're just not speaking with each other. got the king of pentacles this person's been watching you grow taurus they've been watching you work watching you work really hard become stable they see that you're very focused on whatever it is that you're doing that you are growing i i feel like all these pentacles like we go from the knight to the king it feels like taurus that you've they've been watching you grow from the knight to the king and um yeah it feels like your work might be on display that might be how they're accessing you they might be watching you from work. <laughs> they might be watching you like, well, you know, whenever whenever they're thinking about you, they might just pull up their phone and, and look at your pictures or look at you on Instagram or YouTube or something like that. 
um, we do have the judgment card. So it takes this person a really long time to make decisions. They could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Look, we have lots of Virgo energy. We have Taurus, right? Capricorn energy. We're in a general reading, so it's always all three when we see the pentacles. Um, the judgment card here, somebody is trying to use their intuition to make a decision, but they want to make a very practical and slow moving decision because they don't want to go back. And that's, that's that's why people will call Taurus stubborn, right? Because you are slow to make decisions. It's not that you're not immovable. It's not that you can't change your mind, Taurus. Ch not changing your mind is a choice. And so when you choose to change your mind, you will. And so people who are not of fixed energy don't get that. They'll just call you stubborn. Let them do what they're going to do. But I feel like that there is a judgment um, here, a decision that's being made about Taurus by somebody who I feel is being very, yeah, I want to say practical is the word that keeps coming. Like they're reevaluating the situation. It's very practical. Reevaluation. We've got uh, three, five, six, and seven pentacles. Reevaluation. Somebody is about to throw their seeds of intention, Taurus, and they want to do it in a very practical sense and they don't want to have to make the wrong decision by making it quickly. So they could be an earth sign, but listen, they don't have to be. Uh, there are more than the earth signs that move slow like this and make very practical decisions. The earth signs for one, right? We do have Aquarius energy here. Virgo and Pisces, uh, Taurus and uh, Capricorn as well. What else do we need to know about Taurus? We do have the Eight of Cups. So this is somebody that I feel you have not, you have not seen, talked to, had any emotional connection to um, in quite some time. I'm talking five, six, seven years that you haven't seen this person. We have uh, the Eight of Wands. So you are going to receive some sort of communication. Things are about to pick up because I feel somebody's about to make a decision, right? Because we have the, the judgment card here. You're about to receive communication. And that is uh, the Page of Wands. But I also feel that you're, that this person is about to go out on some sort of new path that they've never been on before. I want to say that this person is a wounded warrior. This is somebody who I feel that has been hurt over and over and over again. That could be the reason why they're being so careful, right? Now, there's no cups here. I'm just going to say there's no cups here. There's no reason for us at this point to think, well, there's eight cups, right? But that's disconnection from emotion. So, and that's why all the pentacles are here because we're disconnected from the emotional part of it. And I want to say that um, at this point, it doesn't really feel like this is an old love. I, it doesn't feel like that. If this is someone that you know, um, this is not someone that I feel you've ever uh, been in a relationship before with or dated before. But there's nothing here that indicates that this is a romantic relationship. Tell me what else is going on here. This person could be moving slow and making practical decisions because they have a child that they don't really know that they want to involve in all of this. I feel like this wounded warrior is ready to go out on a brand new path, make a decision to reach out here. I feel like you have some incoming communication. This person is going to want to... Uh, they, they want to know if you're interested in speaking with them like they're interested in speaking with you. Somebody is ready to really give a lot to you, like reciprocally. And I mean in the 3D, like can we go out for coffee? Can I see you? Can we, can we do things? Can we, it feels like that sort of energy. Um, the Six of Pentacles here. Yeah, this person is ready to throw their seeds of intention. Like it's an intentional kind of thing here. They're not just doing it on a whim. It's like they've been watching you, studying you, studying your movements, watching you grow. What else do we have here? We have the justice card. I feel like when this person does pop up, I feel like this is somebody that that is going to like you're they're wanting to make something right with you. And so it feels like you're going to feel justified like, ah, oh, see, I waited them out. It feels like um, that you had no intention in reaching out to this person. And I don't think it's for any nefarious reason. That's the thing. It's not that you had a hard time. It's not anything dramatic like that. It's not an argument or a fight or exes or all of the dramatic stuff that people like to put in the comments. It's none of that. That's not what I'm feeling. Pentacles are practical energy. They're like, our lives just 
parted. We just went different ways and, and our lives just didn't come in back into balance until now. I feel like the justice is telling me that there's a friendship that's coming together or somebody that you would consider to be a friend. It also could be someone that you used to work with, possibly with all of these pentacles. Someone that you already know in the 3D. Tell me more about Taurus. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So this, um, I feel like this is somebody who might be watching you from a distance because I feel like they were in a long-term relationship that is, is over. I feel like that they feel free and clear to communicate with you or contact you because they're no longer in, in a long-term relationship here. And that's why they're making this decision to reach out, to give you reciprocal energy. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles and they feel like you are somebody who mirrors them like you are a soulmate you're somebody who who knows i feel like you're you're somebody like we got the king and the queen of pentacles here i feel like you are somebody taurus who is very focused on you focused on your pentacles focused on your 3d you're building a business you're you've got you you're in the corporate world and you're doing really well at what you're doing making decent coin i feel and uh, because we have the queen and the king of pentacles so whether you're the feminine or the masculine viewing this um take it as it resonates for you but we also do have the Queen of Pentacles, who is looking to give someone a pentacle, right? Who is looking to um, possibly receive someone, call someone into their life. We do have eight pentacles here. And so it feels like that this Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's really been working on themselves really hard. Eight pentacles is about um, working on the self. It's about self-mastery, but it's also just about, you know, just working hard, essentially. Tell me more. Tell me more about this, please. Somebody wants to communicate with you, Taurus, because they want to make something right. It feels like there's been disconnect here. It feels like somebody walked away or you two parted or, you know, like life carried us in different directions. And it's been five or six years maybe since you've seen each other. So I feel like somebody is about to get um, communication from someone who is... I think it's exciting because the page is uh, exciting, creative, flirty, fun communication, right? So it could be any one of those things. It doesn't have to be all of them. But I feel like it's going to really give you some sort of justice. Like, it's almost like, Taurus, you're going to say, ah, I knew it. I knew it. It's like you felt it. You felt that something was coming, but you just couldn't name it. You didn't know what it was. This person, I feel now that they're in a balanced energy, they're communicating with you here. We've got the Five of Wands. We've got the Hermit in reverse. Yeah, somebody's coming out of hiding here. And we've got the Lovers. Look at that. Very interesting. So we do have the Hierophant as well. Taurus, I feel like um, somebody here has been hesitating because they feel like, like, I feel like they've been watching you because they don't know if you're single, if you're in a family way, like, do you even live in the city anymore? Do you live near them anymore? Are you across the world? Like, I feel like they're watching to get information to know whether they should reach out to you or not. Because it feels like this person's being very practical. Their life is really busy. They're not really sure if you want them crashing into your life. They know that they've never been able to let go of you, whether it's a friendship or a love ship or somebody that you used to work with. It feels like there is um, incoming communication here. The hermit is in reverse. Somebody is coming out of hiding after a relationship that has gone south here. So I feel like the person who's communicating with you is going to tell you that. That's how you'll know who I'm talking about. This person's going to say, well, I'm single again. Or, you know, they might just say, you know what, like, I, I it, you know, the thing I was in, it didn't work out or I've been married and divorced and you two will be catching up after many years so there's a lot of things that have been going on here but I want to say that this person's been holding back because of the lovers like now that we've got the lovers here it feels like this person's coming out of hiding and it feels like the lovers tells me that there's a really deep soulmate connection here between you and them and they've been holding back because that's what keeps them in balance but I feel like this is a person if it is somebody that um that holds sort of a an emotional sort of energy for you or you for them it is because you work together or because you were friends in the past or maybe maybe you dated in college you know what i mean like it it feels like it's way long back and that's that's the effect of the eclipse energy that we're still in is that 
is, um, you know, it's not Mercury retrograde, not bring them back the same old ones over and over again. Um, it's, it's somebody who is like a friend, like somebody who is your bestie in college or in junior high or something like that. Somebody that you haven't seen for a while, definitely someone that you have not dated, but somebody who you have not been able to let go of. You've thought about them over the years. They've thought about you over the years. And this person is now coming out of hermit energy. Interesting. Tell me about the uh, Page of Swords, please. Tell me about this Page of Swords. This person could also have a couple of kids that make them very busy, keep them very busy, trying to keep everything uh, working, right? Um, work keeps them busy. They, they're working on themselves. They're working at work. They've got a couple of kids, possibly. I've got the Two of Cups. The only thing that's missing from their life is love. So I feel like they are interested in you in a romantic way and this is the decision that they're up against here that somebody here is deciding i've got to take a leap i've got to fly it's time for me to make a decision uh, prepare to make a decision i feel like this is coming up on the page of swords so i feel like the way they're preparing to make this decision is by watching you from a distance So this person could be a taurus a virgo a capricorn we do have aries sagittarius leo energy here we have libra Cancer. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We'll do all three because we're in a, a reading that is a general reading, remember, right? So, what is this person going to do? What's the outcome? Like, why Why are they watching Taurus? When's Taurus going to hear from them? What are they going to say? Tell me about this. Got the magician. Somebody's manifesting you. You know, I, I, I've heard it said, and I don't know that it's true, but I'll tell you because it's it's happened to me. Um, I've heard it said that when you are in sort of a an energy where you're just so grateful for the smallest things, um, like the tiniest things, and they make you weep that you're so grateful for those things, and you're like, why am I in tears being grateful over this beautiful meal that my child has cooked for me? Do you know what I mean? Like it feels like you're, um, if somebody is manifesting you, you're almost to the point of tears or weeping because you're so grateful. To me, um, I, I've experienced that and I feel like it's true. Um, so maybe that is something that has happened to you. If that's true, you might be being manifested here. We've got the Ten of Cups. And we have the Eight of Swords. So somebody's up in their head obsessively thinking about how happy they could be with you. I feel like I feel like y'all are manifesting each other. I feel like when you when you think about them, when they think about you, and you might be thinking about them a lot, they might be thinking about you a lot, whatever happened to so-and-so, right? Um, it might be somebody that, uh, like I said, that you went to school with or worked with in the past. But it does feel like somebody is obsessively thinking about what it would be like to be in the ultimate apex of happiness, emotional fulfillment. That's what somebody's manifesting here is emotional fulfillment. And I feel like they, they're they manifesting it because they do want the lovers. And I did say that the Ten of Pentacles underneath here tells me that this person I feel is somebody who has, um, who has left a relationship or a relationship has ended. So this person I feel is wanting um, emotional happiness, but is in their head about it because they're wondering, have I healed enough? Have I healed enough to find this person here? Yeah, Ten of Swords. They've had an ending and they're healing from that right now, but they know what they want, right? The Seven of Cups in the reverse is, I'm no longer confused. I know what I want. So temperance is a moment of alchemy is about to show up here. And um, there's about to be a release, some sort of release between the two of you that... Um, that I think has been needed for a while. There's reciprocal energy coming with a communication. Uh, we have the strength card here. Uh, we do have the nine of wands. I did call it the wounded warrior, right? Eight and one is nine. And uh, we do have the knight of wands. It feels like this person is really attracted to you. This is probably something they've never said to you, I feel, because this person's a very practical person. They were probably in a relationship at the time. We do have nine and one, which is 10. They're coming in to drop some burdens here. And I feel like they're holding back just a little bit right now, trying to be courageous and strong, but everything's about to change. The Wheel of Fortune's here. The Wheel of Fortune's here. There's expansion and change, and I feel like everything has been changing really, really slow. Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. These are all of the fixed signs here, 
and uh, Sagittarius as well. Um, Sagittarius is not a fixed sign, of course, but it's taken a really long time to get movement here. We do have the death card because something was ending. Look at this. Yeah, I feel like they're now out of a relationship. If they're out of a relationship, it's like either we don't live together anymore, we're not engaged anymore, we're not married anymore. It feels like this is what's really weighing heavy on this person because I feel like they're currently going through a tower. They're viewing you from a distance because they're currently go uh, living a tower. They're living through a tower at this time. All right. I'm going to leave that there. Thank you, Taurus, for coming here and watching. I do appreciate you. Um, I'm going to go for now, but I'll be back because I'm always back. Love you guys. I'm out. Bye-bye.